Kulbi refers to dried yellow corvina. Kulbi from Popsongpo port in Yeonggwang, Jeollanamdo province is especially considered to be the best and used to be offered to kings. But how did it come to be called Gulbi, which means to never submit? Li Tagyeom of the Leaves of Inju, who were powerful in-laws of the royal family in the mid Goryeo dynasty, married off his daughter to the 16th king, King Yejong, and became the king's father-in-law. He had his grandson, the son of King Yejong and his daughter, made the 17th king, King Injong, and he arranged King Injong to marry his third and fourth daughters. Lee Da Gyeom enjoyed the highest authority, being the king's father-in-law for two successive generations. Eventually, he tried to usurp the throne using Do Chamsol, saying that there's a prophecy that a man with an 18-character name, meaning the surname Lee, will rule the country. However, the rebellion was suppressed by the military official Chok Jun Gyeong, who joined forces with Kim In Jong. Lee was exiled to Popsongpo port in Yeonggwang. Lee, who couldn't overcome his anger at his defeat, presented the king with a dried yellow corvina, a local specialty, and called it Gulbi. I may offer presents, but I will never submit and be servile. Since then, dried yellow corvina came to be called kulbi, which means to never submit. Goryeo was a monarchy. Since Wanggon founded the country, the state affairs of Goryeo have always been strongly influenced by high-ranking officials who strengthened their power by marrying their daughters to the kings. In one of the most popular foods in Korea, kulbi, there is the story of high-ranking officials who looked down on kings in the mid-Goryeo dynasty. <laughs> <laughs>